Hi, I'm Rory, the career agent. This video is the five most common mistakes that people make on their CV. This theory applies to all the way from graduates to CEOs and everyone in between. So this is relevant to you. Let's go through those mistakes. Mistake number one, F write the CV, then find the job. This is the first mistake that people make. Most people think with CVs that it's a long historical document, a sort of this is your life document, which details everything you've ever done. And actually, the sole purpose of a CV is to prove that you have the skills and experience for the job you're applying for. So if you think of it that way, find the job, look at the experience they're looking for, look at the skills that they want, write those down and analyze your own CV. Have I proven that I have the skills and experience that they're looking for, which means you're not a risk to hire and they think we found our person and they bring you in for an interview. It's as simple as that. So that's the first mistake. Mistake number two, show your impact. Most people with CVs, they, when they look talking about a previous role, they just write down their job description. This is what I was hired to do and I did it. What you need to think about is how you made a personal impact on the business. Think about uh, clients you bought in, money you made for the business, uh, how did you save the money, did you line manage someone who performed really well, were you involved in a project, did you lead a project or were you involved in a project that positively impacted on the business. Think about you, how you made an impact and that will show the next employer that if they hire you, they're hiring someone who, who's brought a lot of value to their previous business and you're going to do the same for them. That's the second mistake. Mistake number three, prove your impact. So often with CVs, people say, I'm good, but there's no evidence. So think about how you can write those star examples which have enough detail in them to show that, that you've got a result from the positive work that you put in. Have a think about data. Numbers are so easy to read. When recruiters and hiring managers are scan reading CVs, they love numbers. It's easy. They, you, you can pick them out and go, okay, so this is interesting. They want to know more about how you achieved that figure. So think about numbers. That's mistake number three. Mistake number four, bad personal statements. Most people at the top of a CV will write a long rambling paragraph trying to tick every single box saying things like, I work really well on my own, but I also work really well in a team. Everybody says it, so it sort of becomes meaningless. So have a think with a personal statement, make it authentic, talk about your strengths that are suitable for the job. What I do is do one sentence, a sort of headline sentence about who you are, and then one more sentence about what you're looking for. Um, that shows it, it's, it's much more impactful and stick to authentic and real rather than tick the boxes. Mistake number five, the look and feel. This is so important. You're sending a CV and it's representing you. This is all the company know about you. So it's got to look fantastic. It should be no longer than two pages. Even if you're a CEO or director or senior manager, it shouldn't be more than two pages. If it is, you've got too much detail. So cut that back and make it two pages. I have CV templates that I can share with you. So just message me and I will send you it um, to help you get started. So I hope all of these tips have, have helped you. Making a CV that is authentic and sells you and gets you that interview is extremely difficult, time consuming and stressful, which is why I have a service to do that. Contact me and ask me how I can help you and make things miles easier. Also, please follow me on Instagram, Rory the Career Agent, uh, to get more free advice. And if I've missed any common mistakes, then let me know, message me, comment below, like, comment, share. Thank you very much for watching and have a good day. Thank you, bye bye.